What we have here, these are the soils that we looked at yesterday on my ranch. I took them home. These were the ones from the cover crop field that we looked at last night. I took them home and dried them out. This was the field we looked at that was under conventional tillage. I took that home and dried it out. So now what you'll see is the difference in slaking between those two. So our next step is to complete the slake and uh, Gabe and I are just going to go ahead and put these into the water containers. And the water is now moving into these peds. And so what will happen as the water moves in, it creates uh, an energy or a pressure. And the soils that have good glues, where the aggregates are glued together, will hold together quite well. They should slake off to a small degree, but it'll probably keep the water clear, even at that. Whereas the soils that have a very limited amount of glomalin in them, you're going to find that they start to slake off more excessively, and we're going to start to see a cloudy water. And so it's going to illustrate the difference uh, that we look at when you t think in terms of erosion and you think in terms of water erosion, you think in terms of uh, nutrients that um, leave the uh, cropland fields. Uh, all of this comes to play when we can't hold our soils together. And so it's a, it's a pretty good illustration just with the clarity alone, uh, the difference between the two. So very similar soil types. Uh, one has uh, got more carbon and it has uh, more of the glues. The other is very compressed, but as the water moves into it, it just starts to slake it off. It, it's a pretty, pretty dramatic um, illustration of what happens when we compress our soils. And like we mentioned when we started, uh, there's been so much acceptance of a degraded soil that that's just the way it is. But a degraded soil can be restored. We can bring the soil health level up on them, but we have to change uh, how we uh, put our cropping systems together because it really starts with soil health. When we have soil health correct, then a lot of our environmental issues go away. And it really comes down to uh, soil health and, and food health, which then equates to people health.